Greetings humans, it is I Gladys. I'm just here to inform you that the following video contains strong language and is not suitable for people under 15 years of age. With that being said, enjoy. Why the fuck do you all think I stole Gino's purse? I'm not that low! Shut the fuck up, Scout. We all know that you and Gino don't really get along as well as the rest of us. Besides, you were the one who tricked her into drinking a mad milk while Nidic was asleep. She threw up for three fucking hours, Scout. Nidic almost had a panic attack because of that incident. It's not my fault she has a weak stomach. Scott! This is Gino you're talking about. The one who nearly cut Spy's head off when she thought he kidnapped Nidic. That was the most terrifying moment of my life. You never want to make Gino angry, or it'll be the last thing you ever do. Ah, all you are scared of some shrimpy bitch that doesn't even show herself in these videos. Guys, I think I hear Nidic coming. He does not sound happy. Oh, peace. We're all fucked now, aren't we? I blame Skype for this. Fuck you, Sniper. I didn't do shit. Go shove your dick in one of your jaws. What the actual fuck are you all yelling about at two in the fucking morning? I'm trying to get some goddamn sleep. Scout was trying to steal Gino's purse so he could pour his mad milk in it as a prank. Don't believe him, Doc. I learned my lesson from last time. Scout, I seriously hope you're fucking joking because if you aren't, I'm going to fucking cut off your dick and shove it down your fucking throat. I mean, serious medic, I'd never do anything to piss you off again, especially if it involves your wife. Oh, really, Scout? Then explain to me why you're sweating nervously. Okay, fine. I wanted to prank Gino for cutting my arm off just because I touched your breast on accident. You fucking did what? Medic, I'm sorry. Please don't cut off my dick. You fucking don't cough. Do you have any idea what hole I went through to calm Gino down? She almost fucking killed me because she was so angry. Medic, please. I'm sorry. Don't rip my heart out. I'll do anything. No, I'm fed up with you, Scout. You crossed the line after you accidentally touched my wife's breast. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is allowed to touch her breasts except me. Doc, please. Guys, tell him that I didn't mean it. I'm too young to die. Sorry, Scout, but it's too late. I already recorded everything on the cameras. Miss Pauling, why would you betray me like this? Because you're nothing but an immature child, Scout. You say you'll grow up, but you never do. I hope you get tortured in the most painful way possible, Scout. You're no better than to touch the breast of a married woman! Fuck you, Demo. I hope every one of you dies a painful death without getting any bitches on your dicks. All of you shut the fuck up. Especially you, Ludwig. Why do you always have to accuse Scout for everything he does to me? But darling, he touched your breast. That's my job. No, what's Ludwig? I'm tired of you constantly blaming Scout for every bad thing that happens to me. Is Todd merely liebling? I guess I'm just tired and a bit too protective of you. I'm grateful that you're protective of me, Ludwig, but you need to stop yelling at everyone every time something like this happens. Hey, you're always right, Honig. Perhaps I should relax and take the rest of the day off. As the Ludwig I married, all it takes is a bit of persuasion and you become the sweetest soul on earth. Oh, shucks, darling, you're making me blush. You always blush around me, Ludwig. It's cute. Weren't you supposed to be good at hiding certain emotions? Hey, Lady Scheisse, my soul can't take your flirting paws libeling. You're being so cute right now, Ludwig. Your weakness to my flirting makes you listen to me easier. This is actually adorable. Medic went from wanting to kill Scare to a blushing mess of a man. Such is the way of romance, Nemo. Love is strong enough to battle anger and make that person more receptive to their loved one's wishes. Which reminds me I need to get Louis something for our anniversary. I'll see your mates later. My friends, if you don't mind, I'd like to spend the rest of the day alone with Gino and Scout. I'm sorry I yelled at you. No worries, Doc. You two are fun together. God, you guys are like the cutest fucking couple ever. Enjoy your quality time together, Doctor. And Gino, if you ever need some extra protection, just call Heavy. Thank you, Heavy. I definitely will call you in the future. Ludwig can't always fight every battle by himself, you know. I've got my heart. Darling, please, don't flirt with me anymore tonight. I'm already under your control. My apologies, Honig. I just get carried away at times. I hope you are mad at me now, Ludwig. How could I ever lose my temper at you, darling? You're my everything. And just the thought of seeing you cry because I yelled at you breaks my heart. Oh, Ludwig, you're so sweet. I'm so lucky to be married to such a caring man like you. I have the exact same words to you, Liebling. Such a beautiful ending. I'm so glad that Medic was able to win Gino's heart for his own. Of course, I did help him with that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video or else I'll cut your cock and balls off. God fucking damn it, Ludwig.